welcome back guys today we will be continuing properties of fluid so today we will be studying about types of fluids so first is ideal fuel fluid so the fluid hypothetically having zero viscosity that is mu equals to zero and is called the hypo ideal fluid so having zero viscosity is ideal fluid and now next is real fluid so all the fluids in reality I have viscosity greater than zero so all the liquids which we are seeing and in day to day life are real fluid and hence they are termed as real fluid and then motion is known as viscous flow so next we have Newtonian fluid so So Newtonian fluid, the fluids for which the rate of deformation is proportional to the shear stress are called Newtonian fluid. So rate of deformation is directly proportional to the shear stress. So rate of deformation proportional to shear stress is Newtonian fluid. Now, so example is air, water, gasoline number four non-newtonian fluids non-newtonian fluids so there are certain fluids which exhibit non-newtonian characteristics that is the stress is not linearly dependent upon the velocity gradient that is the rate of deformation is directly not proportional to the shear stress like here I'm writing shear stress shear stress is not linearly dependent on on the velocity gradient so for example like human blood lubricating oils and all so next we have ideal plastic fluid so ideal plastic fluid so a fluid in which shear stress is more than the yield value and the shear stress is proportional to the shear strain that is known as plastic ideal plastic so now we will see a diagram very important diagram it comes for most of the time in examinations So here viscosity viscosity that is tau and here it is velocity gradient velocity gradient so this is known as the rheology curve so rheology is the study of response of materials to stress so how the materials react upon stress so so this is ideal fluid this is dilatant this one for which and this is Newtonian fluid this is pseudo plastic fluid this is ideal plastic this is Bingham plastic and these are plastics so this is the rheology curve also known as rheology curve so I will write here very important relationship between tau that relates velocity gradient like this so where a and b are constants which depend upon the type of fluid and the com conditions imposed on the flow like shear stress and dilatant example uh, printers ink butter where dilatant for n is greater than 1 this n for newtonian n is equals to 1 
and for like this pseudo plastic like paper pulp suspension paints and all that n is less than 1 so this was all about types of fluid and thanks for watching it